Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to go through question number three from the June 2022 International A Level Pure Mathematics P1 paper um, from Edexcel. This question here is about um, this expression in third form, which we have to simplify and show that it's an integer and find its value. And it very clearly says solutions relying on calculator technology are not acceptable and that you have to so show all stages of your working. And that's especially true in a question like this because you can just stick this in your calculator and the answer will come out and you will get zero marks for that. So you have to show how you've done that. Now, there are different methods we could use that I, that, uh, to solve this problem. Um, what I would think is the easiest way is to split this into two separate fractions first. So you write the square root of 180 divided by the square root of 5 minus the square root of 80 divided by the square root of 5. And then from there we can um, write this as one whole fraction under the square root of 180 divided by 5 minus the square root of 80 divided by 5. Because we know that the square root of A divided by the square root of B is equal to the square root of the whole fraction A over B. Okay, that's one of the rules of uh, thirds that we use to simplify thirds. So 180 divided by 5, 5 goes into um, 18, that's 3 times remainder 3, so that's 36 over 5. So it's the square root, of, sorry, it's over 5. It's going to be the square root of 36 minus, and 5 goes into 80, that's the square root of 5 into 8 goes 1, remainder 3, so that's 16. So it's going to be the square root of 16. And we know that the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 16 is 4. So you end up with 6 minus 4, which is 2. So there's the answer to that question. Okay, now what we could have done is we could have, we can check to see if our answer is correct. So we could take the original question and see if we get the same answer. So we can do the square root of 180 minus the square root of 80 all over the square root of 5 and you see we get 2 as an answer okay so we know that we're correct so using the calculator is fine to check in case you've made a silly mistake in your work absolutely no problem with that but the steps here must be shown as I said there's also an alternative way of doing this so you can call this method 1 we also got another method method 2 which I will show you what to do what we can do here is we can take this and we can rationalize the denominator. So how do you rationalize the denominator of something like this? Well, you multiply both the top and bottom here by whatever makes the denominator rational. So multiplying root 5 by itself will give you 5, so it becomes rational. But I must multiply root 5 with the numerator as well. So I have root 5 times root 180. So that's going to give me 5 times, um, let's see, 5 times 180. That gives me 900. So that's the square root of 900 minus 5 eighths of 40. That's the square root of 400. All over root 5 times root 5, which is 5. Okay, so, um, and that's using the rule. If I do the square root of A times the square root of B, it's going to give me the square root of the product of A and B. So it's like root 5 times 180 times root 180 is the square root of 900. So the square root of 900 is 30, okay, 30, minus the square root of 400 is 20. So you have 30 minus 20 over 5, which is 10 over 5, which is 2, of course. Okay, so it's the same answer, um, just a different method of, of answering the question. I think part, the first method is easier, but both of them are perfectly fine. Okay, so that's part one of question number three. Now we're going to go on to part two. So now for part two, we have to simplify this expression, okay, which is again made up of these um, third form type of expressions. So what we need to do again to simplify this and to give it in the form a plus b root 5, where a and b are rational numbers, we have to rationalize the denominator. Okay, just like we did in the last question, but in the last question the denominator was just root 5. So we can multiply it by root 5 and the numerator by root 5, and it rationalizes the denominator and simplifies the expression. In this case, the denominator is not just a, something um, you know, on its own um, 
an irrational number, you have a mixture of a number and a cert. So what, what do we do to rationalize that? Well, we simply do the following. To rationalize that, so the denominator, the denominator becomes rationalized, you multiply the denominator by whatever um, makes this rational, which will be the same numbers, the opposite sign between them. We're going to be using the principles of difference of two squares to basically get rid of the middle term. The middle term will be the term which has, um, you know, the root 5 with it. Okay, so that's why we multiply this by the same numbers with the opposite sign between them. But whatever I do to the denominator, I must multiply the numerator by the same thing. Otherwise, the fraction will not be the same. So I multiply the numerator by 7 plus 3 root 5. So you can see in the denominator what's going to happen. I'll use the next line to give myself more space. In the denominator, what's going to happen, you're going to end up with 7 times 7, which is 49. Then you have 7 times 3 root 5, which is 21 root 5. And you have minus 3 root 5 times 7, which is minus 21 root 5, which was the whole reason why we um, you know, multiplied this by the same thing, the opposite. The middle term disappears. No third. Then you have minus 3 root 5 times plus 3 root 5, which is negative 9 times 5. 3 times 3 is 9. Root, times, root 5 times root 5 is 5. So that gives you that, which we're going to simplify further. And the numerator will be 4 root 5 times 7, which is 4 times 7, 28 root 5. Then you have 4 root 5 times 3 root 5. Um, 4 root 5 times 3 root 5, which is plus 12 times 5. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12. Root 5 times root 5 is 5. Then you have minus 5 times 7, which is minus 35. Okay, and then you're going to have... Um, minus 5 times 3 root 5, which is minus 15 root 5. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this. So you have 28 root 5. Um, in fact, let's do the whole number part first, the, the, the part without the third first, because that's how it's written. So we got 12 times 5, which is 60. 60 minus 35, which is 25. Then we have 28 root 5 minus 15 root 5, which is plus 13 root 5, divided by... 49 minus 45, which is 4. So we're left with 25 over 4 plus 13 over 4 root 5. And that is the answer to the question. Um, we can check to see. Uh, why did I write like this first? Because we want to split it into two separate terms, as they have requested us to do to show in this form. So uh, we know A is 25 over 4 and B is 13 over 4. But again, we can use our calculator not to answer the question, but to check our answer. Okay, if we just write down this answer, then we'll get you know no marks for it. But we can check in an exam to make sure that we've done the right thing. Go to the original question. 4 times root 5 minus 5. Oops. Divided by 7. Take away 3 root Five. And that gives us 25 plus 13 root 5 over 4, which is what, exactly what we got. We just split it into two separate fractions as they required. So we can be sure that we got the right answer. So the calculator is useful for us to use in such questions in order to check our answer, in case we made a silly mistake somewhere in our working. So there's the answer for 3 part 2. That concludes question number 3 from this paper. Other questions from this paper, which is the June 2022 P1 paper, can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. Other questions from um, this topic of simplifying thirds and algebraic manipulation of P1 can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and please check out the description under the video for other links to other papers that you might find interesting and useful. Thank you for watching and see you soon.